All right, this is the end result of this video. It's me showing you how to make this mod. Basically, get the Tap Titans 2 game from the Play Store and mod it to where it has infinite gold. So as you can see, if I spin this, I, I do the upgrade, but it doesn't spin my gold. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. You'll need a computer, just so you know. Good luck. Hopefully, you guys learn something new. All right, let's do this. Um, this is probably going to have a lot of jump cuts because I don't like making long videos anymore. All right, so install Tap Times 2. All right, install it if you don't got it. All right, once it's installed, open up Lucky Patcher. I'll have a link in the description for you to go and download. All right, for those that are wondering what version I'm on, I'm on version 6.5.8, a stupid old version, but it works fine for me. Alright, first thing you want to do is uh, go to change directory, and I have it set to, set to SD card Lucky Patcher. This phone does not have an SD card, but doing so sets the, the Lucky Patcher directory to the front of my uh, memory storage area. So it just makes it easier to find stuff. So, go back. Alright, so first thing you want to do is open up Tap Times 2, hit Tools, and then go to Backup to uh, get the APK file from the app directory to an easily access area on your phone. All right, now use whatever file manager app that you like to use. I'm gonna be using the one that I've always used, which is File Manager by Maple Media. Uh, by setting it to Lucky Patcher on SD card, it's, it sets it right here at the start of my internal memory. So if I just go into here, I go to backup, it's right here. I'm just gonna move it over because so that uh, when I do plug it into my computer, it does uh, find it easier. All right, so that it's at the bottom of the other front down here. Anyway, and there's my premium one, yada. Anyway, so, yeah. Now connect the phone to the computer. All right, so connected, drag and drop uh, the APK from the phone into a folder on your computer somewhere. I'm going to put it over here. All right, once it's copied over, download these things on your computer because you're going you're gonna to need them. First is 7-zip. Just download whichever one works on your computer. Mine is, is a 64-bit operating system, so that's what I would use. Next up is Notepad++. Download it, whichever one, again, 64-bit or 32-bit. Next thing you're going to want is, uh, is a Java JDK. I have Java SE8. You can use SE8 or SE11 up to you. I'm using SE8. So, yada. Make sure it's the JDK and not the JRE or whatever. Lastly, after you have all that done, you're going to need to... Not this one yet. You're going to need to <laughs> get this one here. This O1O -O editor. Uh, it's a hex editor. It just makes things easier. So, just go to this website, hit the download, and then download install it. You're good to go. Last thing we're going to need is APK Easy Tool. It just helps you decompile the APK and then recompile it. And it signs it so that you can sideload it onto a mobile device. So if you scroll down a bit, you'll find these download links. I'm going to do the portable one just because it's easier. All right, I'm going to open it up. All right, once you download it and open it up, you're going to see a bunch of stuff inside of here. All right, go to the folder where you put the APK at and drag and drop all this crap onto here. From here, open up APK Easy Tool. I'm going to do 64-bit because I am 64. If you're not, use APK Easy Tool regular. When you first open it, it's going to say, you're missing a bunch of directories. Set them. And they should set automatically. They'll just appear because if you look in the original zip, it's not in there. All right. So they, they should just be set automatically after you hit the, uh, not the notification window that pops up. From here, select APK jar and select the, ta the Tap Titans 2 APK that we extracted. All right, once that's good, hit decompile. All right, that took about three minutes, but once it's done decompiling, it says decompile successful, hit OK. And then go to decompiled and then go inside of your Tap Titans 2 folder and then go into lib and inside of here and you'll find this thing called lib ILC CPP. All right, I'm gonna just make a, not a new folder here. I'm going to copy this file. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm just going to call it uh, modding. All right. And I'm going to paste it inside of here. There's one more thing you got to download, and I totally forgot. But go to this website. Again, link in the, in the description below. And uh, I'm going to be using version 3.4.0, but you can use whichever one you want. You can use a more up-to-date version if you want. All right, once you open it up, drag and drop the files into the area where you put the ILT CPP, the copy. After you do that, I forgot one more file. So close this out. Go back into the TT tutorial. Go back to your decompiled, your tab times 2. Go to assets. Go to libin. Go to data. Go to manage. Go to metadata. And uh, copy this global metadata file. All right. And then go back, back, go back to that folder, the one I put modding, paste it inside of here. All right, good. Copy this directory just in case it tries to go somewhere else when you first run ILTCPP dumper. All right. So I'm going to run this. 
an open window pops up. As you can see, mine's went somewhere else. This is not this folder. So I'm just going to paste this inside of here and hit uh, hit open. It's going to jump to it. Do the IELTS CPP file first. All right, then do a global metadata after. All right, from here, uh, I, I always just do four. So hit four. When it's done, when it's done, it'll say press any key to exit. Push any key. From here, it's up to you. I like to keep my dumps separate because if you do other games or are, 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 or IELTS or CPP, um, they're gonna all say dump CS. I'm gonna put this as a TT2 and then uh, 2.12.2 so I know which one it is. All right, I'm gonna double click this, open it up in Notepad++. Yeah, you're gonna see there's a lot of crazy stuff inside of here. And that's fine. I'm not gonna run through a lot because I'm basically gonna give you the same rundown as what I had available to me when I first learned this, which was not very much at all. All right, all I knew how to do was make a one or a two or make a true or a false. All right, so that's basically all I'm gonna give you. And the person who taught me only showed us one particular command and I had to figure everything else out from there. All right, so you push control F, you'll, you'll open up a find window. And uh, if you look up the term uh, spend gold, push enter, you're gonna jump to this thing that says bull spin gold g h game hive double amount all right if you hit find next again you're not gonna find anything else because that's the only one that exists all right if you just uh, copy this all right copy this all right open up 010 editor if you don't have it opened yet and drag and drop this uh the iltcpp file from the modding folder inside of here all right so from within the file hit search and then go to go to or you can push Control g all right and then it'll pop up this uh line down here all right so uh, just right click this, go to paste, hit enter, and it'll go to this area here. All right, now the thing we want to make it do is basically make it true because um, just a couple basics. Bool is basically a Boolean, and a Boolean is basically a check if something is true or false, or basically it's just a check. So spin gold, true or false, and we're gonna put true because I think the way how the game operates is, I'm not 100% definite on uh, on this, but it's checking when you hit an upgrade, it's checking if you spent gold to do that upgrade or not. And if it's false, it'll spend gold. If it's true, it'll think that it already spent the gold, therefore it'll go through without spending any of your current gold. So from here, I'm gonna go inside of here from this, uh, from this uh, point area. I'm going to uh, put this in the description below as well, but true is going to be this line here. So I'm going to copy this, copy inside of here. I'm going to go to edit, paste from, paste from hex text, and uh, it'll paste it into there. All right. And then you can just file, save this, and then go back into the folder, copy this again, and paste it back into where you originally got it from. So back into the uh, TT main folder. All right, go into my decompiled, go inside of here, go to lib, go inside of here, right click, paste, overwrite. All right, now that's done. Go to APK Easy Tool and hit compile. While this is still going on, just go to the folder where it's gonna spit out at, go to recompiled APK inside of here, and wait. All right, so after waiting a God knows amount of time, this version isn't doing anything. So I'm going to cancel this close it and we're gonna use a different version because I was hoping his newest version would work but that's not the case uh, delete the crap I don't need I'm gonna control click the things I do need such as the tap times to APK and the modding folder everything else I'm just going to delete because I don't need it I'm gonna hold shift hit delete key on my keyboard do you want a permanent delete yes all right I'm gonna get an older version of it I'm gonna go to Android file host link on his uh, download page I'm gonna go down here to older versions I'm gonna go look for 1.50 which is right here all right, I'm going to download this one. All right, hit download and open it. All right, it took like forever to download, so I'm just going to make a backup of that and upload it somewhere else. You guys can download it if you guys want. All right, because it took 10 minutes just to download that file. So inside of here, drag and drop all this crap and put it inside of here just as before. All right, once you have it extracted, close this out. So this is the version that works for me. I'm going to run this. I'm going to have to reset the folders because it because I have it set somewhere else. So I have to go reset setup and go find this folder went in the pop-up window that appears. So inside of here, go to computer and I gotta go to here. So there we go, TT tutorial, hit okay. 
and it's going to populate here, all right? Uh, you might not have to do this. You might, you might not have to. But if you do have to, you know how. All right, I have to copy this directory because mine's is already used somewhere else, so I need to set the directory. All right, so as best before, open up this uh, tap times 2 apk All right, go to, go to decompile. All right, like before, when it's done, it'll say this. Hit OK. Since we already modified the file, uh, just go and grab it. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to decompile. Go into here. Go to lib. Go inside of here and just paste this in. Overwrite. Cool. Compile. And then I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to recompiled. And it should appear inside of here eventually. All right. It popped up. Still waiting. And there we go. So it's done. And then it gives me message that says sign is successful. If anybody's wondering how long this recording session is on at, 41 minutes so far. Okay? So this is, this is, yeah, it's, it's, the, the video is going to be chopped and cut to go fast for you. But recording wise, it's not a short video. It's not a short process. Rename it a little bit and I just put like signed or modded. Something like that at the start, so you you know the difference. From here, put it back onto your phone. So I'm gonna just drag and drop this onto here. Let that copy over. From here, I'm just gonna go back into my phone. So I switch out. All right, as you can see, it's uh, plugged in. All right, so uh, from here, I'm just gonna refresh my uh, window. So if I go down here, I'll see a modded folder, not folder, but file. Uh, this won't install on top of the Play Store file. So what you have to do is you have to uninstall the Play Store uh, game version before you can install a modded version so i'm going to go inside of here and on my phone i have to install uh, uninstall it this way other phones are going to have to un uninstall a different way naturally so inside of here now go open up modded hit install all right once it's done it should say app installed hit open and i'm going to get to a point where i can spend gold you know etc all right so i got six gold open this up if i spend it you can see it's, it doesn't go down it's it oops it's still at seven it's minute again seven it's minute it's been, et cetera, all right so you can see the mod does work and that's how I create the infinite gold mod. So if I just hit this, I can keep on upgrading it, so on and so forth. All right, so there you go. That's how you create the infinite gold mod. It's up to you guys to figure out the rest on your own. Sorry, but that's just how it is. I'm going to put you guys through the same paces that I went. You won't learn anything if I spoon feed you all the information. So you guys can create groups or, create or do it with your friends and uh, figure these things out together. All right, guys. Later. Bye-bye. Thanks for checking this out. And the ending recording session time is 45 minutes and 35 seconds. Hopefully, this video after being edited will not be this long. All right, then. Bye-bye.